Hey guys, welcome to Tarot Hill. Welcome to the place where we Tarot Hill our way to self love and unity consciousness. I hope all is well. I feel like it's been so long. <laughs> welcome to your full moon in Cancer reading. All right, let's get started. When I come to you, humbly God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is it that we need to know for the full moon in Cancer? Thank you. All right, we have the Creator coming out here. All right. What else do we have? Mm. <laughs> Surrender. All right, so usually when the creator comes out, I, I think of it like we are the creator. We are the creator of our own destiny. But it did come out for me in this reading. Right now, this reading, uh, for this reading, this card is coming out as... Um respecting the creator <laughs> like the ultimate the one true supreme you know creator okay divine source energy however you look at it all right there's a need to surrender to the power of that understand that we do play a role as co-creators right but we have to understand that there is a universal power with so many moving parts that we have no idea you know what what's really in store all right so there's a need to surrender to the creator the divine will all right now that's how we start now cool it, it when um the card came out when the creator came out i heard uh like one true source you know you know just the the source going to straight to source energy straight to the creative power However you want to name it, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Um, so the full moon in Cancer. What have we created since the new moon? What have we created since the new moon? Okay. We have the King of Wands coming out here along with the Two of Swords. Okay. Mm. So in recognizing... Oh, this is, this is kind of profound. So in recognizing the power, respecting the power of the universe, it's in turn making you respect your own power, all right? So some of us might have been looking at it backwards like, oh, I can create whatever I want, you know, but you didn't take the time out to build a relationship with, with source energy. And once you do that and you build the faith in that, it's not, when you're moving in a world as a co-creator, you don't look at it like, you don't you don't depend too much on the faith in your capacity if that makes sense it should be more so that you're leaning on the power that you're using like you're just you're a conduit for the power so you have to believe in what that power is because then it takes a, the stress off of you okay so let's say if you want to manifest a Range Rover let's just keep it I'm a Capricorn I got to keep it material so let's say you want to manifest a Range Rover. Now you, your ego will have all these extra um, reasons why, like, oh my God, I'm so materialistic. Why would I want that? You know, there's people in third world countries who, who want food, you know, whatever the case is, our ego, they're going to bring reasons why we don't want or why we shouldn't go for the things that we want or why we shouldn't dream bigger, right? But that's also putting too much effort and too much um, weight on you. That's not a burden for you to carry. That's for the divine source to carry, okay? So it's like if you don't get, let's say you, you're pushing for the Range Rover, right? You wouldn't, the only thing that will stop you from getting it is your mindset, is your, the, the thoughts that you're stopping, the thoughts that's coming out that's stopping you from getting it, the what ifs or maybe I shouldn't. Because the spirit is moving like, okay, you want it? Okay, sure. Time doesn't matter, you know, when it comes to the universal source power, source energy, okay? But time matters to us as humans. So we have to understand that we have our human limitations. Anyway, with the human limitations, okay, um, we need to realize that it's not good, bad, and the ugly, right? Um, when the good or the bad happens, we have to realize, okay, I'm just a conduit of energy, okay? I'm just a channel of energy. It, it takes the pressure off of you when things go bad or when things go good, 
you know, you could just give thanks when things go good and say, all right, well, lesson learned when things go bad, but it, it, you don't have to put all the weight on you. I hope that makes sense. I didn't know this reading was going to get like this. All right. But anyway, in having that level of awareness of how source energy moves how they're how it's above time you know the omniscience omnipotent omnipresent energy it's above time outside of space in our human capacity once you understand that now you can be a, a better co-creator okay with the two of uh, swords here the breakthrough coming through Ooh, where are we now <laughs> God, please. where are we now We have five minutes already. Where are we now? <clears throat> okay, now hermit card, page of pentacles, and a death card. Wow, hmm. All right. Um, I know we talked about this in a few of the moon readings. I think in a previous one, it was time to act, taking a step forward. All right. Getting out of hermit mode and taking a step. This is a baby step forward. All right. Taking the step into this death and rebirth. Now, the death and rebirth process is, is not like a just a one um, one step process. Right. It's many steps to get there. Like, one step might be, oh, I have to uh, leave leave my person, okay? Another step after that might be, oh, now I have to cut off this friend. Another step might be, um, now I have to move to another country. You know, whatever the case is, there's a bunch of different steps within this death process. So, don't think that we're at the end of it, but I do feel like hmm, it's just another step in this death process. When I see the death card come out, I look at it like you won't really recognize yourself after it, after the process, okay? So with that, that can't happen overnight. That has to come with a bunch of different experiences, all right? So it just seems like there's another experience to have. Um, but this is coming out of hermit mode. I think I mentioned in the last reading um, about going out into the world and testing out your vibration, see where you're at now and what you're attracting. I think you might notice, if you haven't already, you might notice that you, um, what's on the horizon. You might realize how much work you've done. Mm. Speaking, of, speaking of what's on the horizon, we do have the sun card coming out with the ace of cups and the four of wands. Now, it's coming out in reverse. I don't feel like this is, um, I feel like this is because this is what's coming up. It's on the other side. This is clarifying the death card. It's on the other side of this, this death and rebirth process, this moment of transferring over, uh, transforming, being this person that you haven't recognized. At the end of, or the other side of that is the happiness, is the, the love, okay? An opportunity for love. It could be self-love or love with someone else and major stability. If this is for someone else, if this is with someone else and it's major stability with them, um, but I feel like this is a... First and foremost, it'll be the love of self, emotional stability, okay? Right. What is the next question? Um, what? What is coming to our awareness? What is coming to our awareness? Okay. Wow. Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups coming out. This is beautiful. This is what's coming to our awareness. So... I feel like this energy is coming out in reverse because, like I said, it's on the other side of this death and rebirth. It's on the other side of taking some step, all right? I lost it. But that's what's on the other side. What, oh, that's what you're not realizing. Okay, so back to a bunch of moving parts. All right, there's a bunch of moving parts. You don't know like what's going on in the background. 
this is what's happening in the background. You're being set up for emotional security, okay? Emotional stability here. And it might come through, for some of you guys, it might come through as love. It can come through as, it's definitely gonna come through as love with other people, but it could be romantic, it could be platonic, it can be, you know, just soul tribe energy. For some of you guys, it could actually be love with, with this Ace of Cups. But with the Three of Pentacles here coming out, this is like cooperation okay cooperation with others so this can be the energy of you know people coming together who has a, who have the same passion as you do okay it doesn't necessarily have to be love hmm. but it's people on who's on the same emotional bandwidth as you are however that manifests which is great um i want to look more into that page of pentacles why is that page of pentacles there oh god yeah all right yeah things are being hidden all right so yeah there's a lot of moving parts in the background some of you guys you're just one step away from whatever this is you're one step away from soul tribe energy you're one step away from that soulmate whatever the case is it's just one step all right the page of pentacles is clarified by the high priestess because you're getting an intuitive nudge but you're, you're not sure why you need to do it that's why you need to do it you're not see this this stability and this love, whatever this is, and this happiness, sun card, ace of cups, four of wands. If this is a relationship, this is a very happy one, okay? Whatever this is, it's a very fortunate opportunity. Something that's going to give you, it's going to bring a lot of love into your life or passion. Hmm, this is beautiful. But it's being hidden. It's going to be a surprise moment. You have to take that leap of faith. Oh, and that's when it comes down to just respect the the creative source when a creative source source energy is giving you this nudge just go for it do it trust it some of you guys aren't taking the leap of faith or not taking a baby step because you're looking at it like i'm incapable of doing this i'm incapable of doing that but then it, but that's kind of insulting you know the higher power that's leading you to it okay no, you probably can do something, cannot do something by your own devices, but you have spirit on your side. With the high priestess here, you have an intuitive nudge to do something. You have spirit on your side, all right? And it's a surprise element happening here, all right? You're just that one step away from whatever it is, whatever this beautiful love this could just be a new love of life. This could be a new, a depth of love when it comes to you and how and and how spirit works. Okay, you and you and spirit, the spiritual connection. All right, <clears throat> it's gonna be different for everyone. All right, um, what's no longer serving us? Oh, wrong deck. What's no longer serving us? Pretty much spirit is saying, put respect on my name, okay? Okay. Because anytime we're moving and we're having this doubt and we're having, we're second guessing ourselves, we're pretty much saying that we don't have faith in the universe, right? That's what we need to work on now. Okay. What's no longer serving us? This is doing it on your own with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles coming out here. Someone was feeling trapped like they couldn't step out and do it on their own. If this is like someone who's being becoming newly single, it's like, how can I even do this? Okay, if it's somebody starting a new business, it's like, I can't do this on my own, that type of energy. But you can. We have the King of Pentacles coming out with the Ace of Swords. The truth is that you are very capable, okay? You are very, very capable. And more than that, you do have spirit on your side, all right? This is like a second pep talk. We have the Three of Cups coming out again. Not again, the Three of Cups, similar to the Three of Pentacles, okay? The, the energy of cooperating. That's what I'm looking That's how I'm seeing it in this reading. All right. How can we release and let go? This is fear of doing it alone or the fear of independence or, you know, just stepping out. How can we release it? Hmm. 
<laughs> King of Cups, just follow your heart. There we go. Follow your heart. Mm. Let's look at the blockages, what we're failing to see. Overall advice. King of Cups. Mm. Let the, the passion override the fear. Feel the fear. Yeah. It's going to be scary. It's going to be hard. Whatever it is that you got to do. All right? Feel the fear, but allow for the passion to be stronger than your fear. Okay? You have to make that choice. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and believe in the universe right now. <laughs> You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to do it. That's it. I'm scared shitless, but it's okay. The universe got me. You know what I mean? You have to move like that. Never. What's the blockage? What's the blockage? Mm. The moon card in reverse. Yeah, it's just hidden. Because the thing, it's a test. That's all it is. Because if you knew what was on the other side, you you just do it, right? If you if you knew what was gonna come out of this baby step or whatever the step is that you're, you're being led to take intuitively, if you knew what it was, if you knew what was what it was gonna lead to, you you would do it, no questions asked. But that's why it's a leap of faith, and that's why it's being hidden from you. They want you to strengthen your, your relationship with your intuition, your intuitive guidance, and your guides, and whoever, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The world card with the moon card, in reverse, okay? It's like the, the new world is hidden from you. All you're seeing is, okay, I gotta open up this door? I don't, okay, why? You know? Be, and you can't see behind the door, you just gotta open that thing up. All right, what's going on? Tell me more about that moon card. Mm. Mm. Wow, okay. All these cards of, evol of evolution, evolving. This is, you're going to just have to make a choice. Okay, it's don't back to not waiting for a sign. All right, judgment card coming out with the wheel of fortune. You're just gonna have to choose and say, you know what, I want better. I'm about to go and do it. That's it. Okay, don't wait for a sign, don't wait for the right time. It's over. Get it. I mean, it's the same reading as the last one. All right, what are we feeling to see? So, if you've already taken that step. Congratulations to you. What are we feeling to see? If you're still on a fence trying to figure it out, the sun card peaked out. <laughs> if you're still on a fence trying to figure it out, just do it. You're not going to see the whole thing because it's not, um, it's set up so that you don't see what's supposed to happen, what's happening around the corner. So just be okay with that. That's why it's called the leap of faith because it's dark and can't see shit. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. So what are you feeling to see? We have the lover's card coming out with the, uh, the magician card. I feel like this is a manifestation of alignment. Okay. Taking that step is going to activate your, your manifestation. Whether the step is your manifestation. No, I think the step is leading you on a path. It's opening up the door to your manifestation. So it'll be more steps, as I mentioned, with this death and rebirth process. There are many steps. This is just one of many steps. But this is the step leading to the path of your alignment. Seven of Pentacles coming out. You've already reflected enough. There's no more looking back, all right? What's the advice? Excuse me. You have the Ten of Pentacles coming out with Seven of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles coming out in reverse. Mm -hmm. 
It's like you're getting a green light, but you're still like, you just have to make a choice. That's it. Like, I am this person now. I am, this is what I do now. Hmm. This is what I want now. You're going to just have to make that choice. That's going to be a tower moment. It's going to create a tower. Your decision, it's a conscious decision. I don't, I feel like that needs to be like made very clear. Because sometimes we, mm, okay. Sometimes we, we have tower moments that pushes us into transitions. I feel like you have to make the choice. It's like nobody's going to baby you or pull your hand into it with a tower moment. You're going to have to make the choice. Do you want to level up or do you want to stay where you're at? And if you choose to level up, that's going to be your own tower moment for you. Okay, a self-imposed positive tower moment. You always have a choice here. And I feel like the reins are being loosened because they want us to recognize, Spirit wants us to recognize our own power in this situation. But also when you do, also realizing the power, their power, once you align with them. You can be on some, I can do bad all by myself energy, or you can cooperate, right? All right, let's see what the um, animal spirit is. What's the animal spirit? Power animal. Look at that. Wow. Be spirit. Sweet results away. If you already took the step forward, whatever step you were um, intuitively guided to do, congratulations to you. Sweet results await. If you haven't done it yet, understand that this is being hidden from you. Sweet results await. Okay, just take the step. You will not regret it. All right? It's a test. Wow, grasshopper spirit, take the leap of faith. Can they be any clearer? Porcupine spirit, time for a beginner's mind. Because it's a death and rebirth, it's like you're going to feel like out of your element. That's fine. It's time for a beginner's mind. Okay, the full energy here. Mm -hmm. Chameleon spirit, act as if. Keep it cool, keep it chill, all right? Um, I feel like act as if is still like moving, mm, being flexible. Because the biggest issue here is like not making the change that you need to make, right? So you have to understand that life is ever changing and be okay when you get nudged to change and it's like, oh wait, I wasn't expecting, this wasn't in my plan. You have to be flexible with that. The biggest takeaway, take the leap of faith because sweet results await. The sweet results are hidden from you. It's meant to be hidden from you. It's okay. It's hidden from you because they want you to take the leap and believe in yourself and also believe more in, strengthen your connection with spirit. All right? All right, that was short and sweet. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Add me on IG. That's Tyrone Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. Thank you so much. And until we meet again, 